why not? Let's just go do it. Uh, let's get all this over with early. Um, it's a great challenge for our team, and it's the reason. There were, there were two reasons why we took this road trip to California, other than it's a return trip for Stanford coming here last year. But also, it was an opportunity for us to take uh, Imani back home to California, and unfortunately, that didn't work out so great for her. But but for our team, it's a great opportunity to see what we're where we're at, uh, and obviously uh, seeing what Stanford did last night at home against UConn and the kind of winning streak that they have, this is going to be quite a challenge for our team. How much more fun does that make seeing what they did? I mean, you guys knew you already had a test, but now is it a good time to go play them because they might be a little bit over? I think it's a good time to test yourself. I mean, any time that you can go play a team that will expose your weaknesses, then I think that, you know, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get better every day. You're trying to reach your potential. and. I think the only way that you can do that is to get exposed. And anytime you play a team of this caliber on their home court, then they're going to figure out what your weaknesses are, and they're they're going to try to try to attack them. And that's exactly what they'll do. We talked about it some in the preseason, but about you guys being so highly ranked. But now this is a top ten matchup. How yeah. nice is it to see Texans in a marquee game like this again? I think it's terrific, and it, it's it's a testament to our players and their hard work. Um, you know, based on where we are right now uh, with our youth and trying to incorporate them into our system, um, I'm not sure that we're exactly where we need to be. But again, it is a marquee matchup and one that um, I'm really proud that our players are a part of. What did you see from some of your, your players in that first game? Well, I thought we were undisciplined, and we talked about that after after the game. And I, I, I'm not sure if it was just the nerves of the first game, and, and I'm not sure if it wasn't that and again, this is not a great mindset, but n not sure that we were that amped up for that team. Um, and I think that's not a good quality of a team. I think we'll be ready to play, but have we done the work that it takes and, and worked on our discipline and our execution enough to be prepared to play for a team like Stanford or play a team like Stanford? It's only one game so far, but the standout freshman, what did you see out of them? I thought they had good and bad moments, uh, pretty typical of a freshman. And that's really what they have in practice every day. I mean, they have some great flashes, but they also have moments where they don't quite know what's going on. They don't remember the you know, options in the offense and different things like that. But what I do think has happened since our last game is I think the upperclassmen have stepped up and understood what we're getting ready to go into. How do you guys hear yourself matching up against both Well, I haven't looked at UCLA, so I don't, I don't know anything about them uh, other than what I know about their recruits. Uh, they obviously brought in the number one recruiting class in the country, and I had seen those players a lot on the recruiting trail. but have not looked at them at all. Uh, looking at Stanford, I think they, you know, they pose a different, a different challenge for us than, than we've seen so far, uh, just because they have tremendous guard play and they have the ability, as everyone saw last night, to string out you defensively, which is something that we need to get a lot better at. Uh, we're at times not, not in the right place on defense, and I think this is a team because of their, their ability to execute at the guard position. Uh, they can really put a lot of pressure on you and they can get in the seam and, and penetrate and they make good decisions with their penetration. So I think they're going to put a lot of pressure on our defense and this will be good for us because I, I think we can be a great defensive team, but I don't think we are right now. So it's a, it's a great challenge. You mentioned that you don't think the team had a great mindset going into that opener. Mm -hmm. You think they'll be ready to play, but how do you approach this game with them mentally? Do you try and tell them, they treat this like a tournament game or treat this like a learning experience? How do you approach it? Well, we will have to use a little bit of, of what we went through last year in the Virgin Islands because uh, obviously those were back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back games. But this is a road trip where you're playing two quality opponents uh, within a span of 48 hours. So you want to get ready for Stanford first and not even talk about UCLA or worry about it. But then you do have to, no matter what happens in the game, you sort of have to move forward from that one. And then really, we won't be able to look at both of them until we get back and say, OK, this is what we learned, and we'll get better from it.